Happening today, three people charged in the Feeding Our Future scandal are changing their pleas. This comes as we learn more about who may be involved in what prosecutors are calling the largest pandemic fraud scheme in the nation. Bill Keller joins us live. He's in Minneapolis with the latest fallout. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, Alex and Tom. Yeah, prosecutors say there is an overwhelming amount of evidence against these three defendants who are now cooperating in this federal investigation. Later today, the three defendants named here in court, they are due and expected to plead guilty. They are charged with conspiracy to commit wire fraud after prosecutors say they were involved in a massive scheme to take $250 million from a federal program intended to feed hungry kids during the pandemic. Meanwhile, new details are raising questions about the wife of a Minneapolis City Council member and her possible connection to the Feeding Our Future case. Uh, court public documents show that Jamal Osman's wife, Elo Amba, founded a nonprofit that professed to feed needy children through the federal assistance program. Now, her company, called Urban Advantage Services, was one of more than 200 sites sponsored by partners in nutrition. Now, that organization that has not been charged with any wrongdoing is named in court documents as funneling millions of dollars to fraudulent site operators and vendors. Now, Amba does not face any criminal charges at this time. Her husband, the council member, has not responded to requests for a comment in all 49 people charged in siphoning that quarter billion dollars in federal assistance that was intended for pandemic relief. Tom, Alex. Thank you. That's our.